My e-bikes throttle is dangerous. The throttle movement is 20 mm, but only 5 mm of it is active. It's impossible to go slower than 25 km per hour. My bike is Fido D11, and I'm going to make an Arduino modification to fix this issue. This fix will work with almost any e-bike throttle, as I use similar hole sensor. Hole sensor outputs a voltage between 0.8 and 4.2 volts, but only a small part of that range is active. I want to modify it to make the active range bigger. For this, I got an Arduino Nano Super Mini development board and a DAC chip, which converts a digital signal to an analog voltage. The Arduino reads the throttle's voltage, turns it into a digital form, processes it and sends it to the DAC chip through an SPI protocol. The DAC converts it back to a voltage. First I built a prototype on a breadboard. The prototype already has two speed modes. The max speed is set to 15 km per hour, but if you quickly flip the throttle back and forth at max, you'll get 25 km. Here's some early code, but I rewrote most of it after field tests. Since the prototype works, I started designing a circuit board. I sketched it with pen and paper, then finalized it using Pencil Pro. The board will stick to the back of the Arduino Nano. It will hold the DAC chip and connections for the throttle cables. I need a mirrored version of the circuit board for toner transfer. The process involves printing the circuit on glossy paper, ironing it onto the board, and then etching it with sodium persulfate. I used a paint marker to reinforce the edges before etching. After cleaning of the mask with acetone, the board is ready for use. I could have used the surface mount version of rack chip, but making a circuit board would have been harder. And soldering is also much easier with larger chip. Adding jumper wires to a small board is tricky, but I wanted to keep the board simple to avoid problems during the etching. The Arduino Nano runs on 5 volts and can get power directly from the throttle cable. No extra power source or regulator is needed. Next I designed a case and 3D printed it in ABS plastic. I sprayed it with acetone to close small gaps between layers for waterproof finish. The case is in glued shut, so I can easily access the USB port during field testing. Once testing is complete, I'll seal it. During test rides, I made lots of changes to the program. Now the minimum speed is 6 km per hour, and there's a soft start feature to prevent sudden rush of the bike. Development continues as I ride more the bike. Now the bike works perfectly and is safe to use. If you decide to modify your bike, do so at your own risk and always prioritize safety. I hope this video was helpful. Thanks for watching.